Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to a brand new spoiler review of the brand new episode of What If Episode 4, which might be my favorite episode of the entire series thus far. My name is Max Nuremberg. Before we start with this spoiler review of What If Episode 4, please subscribe, ring the bell if you're new to the channel. I do these type of reviews, this spoiler review of What If every single Wednesday here on the channel. I also do movie reviews, other TV show reviews, streaming platform reviews movie rankings and a box office breakdown show subscribe ring the bell let's get to 100 subscribers also please comment down below your thoughts on this episode this is your favorite least favorite episode of the show does this set up anything for the live action films let me know in the comment section down below and like the video you gotta like the video if you want to support this channel subscribe and like the video with the thumbs up button down below smash it and let's get started so as i said guys i'm just going to be blunt right off the bat I, this is my favorite episode of the entire show. I absolutely love this episode. My jaw was kind of dropped to the ground for a lot of this episode. Um, and for me, the series has been really good. The first one was, was okay to find. It was a solid episode, but nothing special. But then it really picked up the episode two, the three really capitalized on the build. And now we get a Doctor Strange, what if, if not, what if Doctor Strange did lose, you know, his hand, he lost his heart. And the metaphorical to the physical difference is really big. Obviously, in the Doctor Strange film, he goes into a car accident. He can't really use his, his hands. He can't be a doctor anymore. That's why he seeks out to become the Sorcerer Supreme. But in this movie, it's that in that car crash, he survives. But his, his girlfriend, played by Rachel McAdams, once again, Christine, is killed. And that makes him one to... Uh, become Source Supreme out of losing his heart and purpose in life. And that was such a really special difference with this episode. As we saw in the first uh, episode of this series, it was just like Peggy became Captain America. That was the major switch. This is a totally different switch. Now Christine is dead in this car crash. Benedict Cumberbatch, Tilda Swinton, Rachel McAdams, Jeffrey Wright, and Benedict Wong are all back from their respective roles. Again, obviously Jeffrey Wright, but the four actors from Doctor Strange, they're all back here in this uh, episode. And Benedict Cumberbatch, by the way, is so good in this episode, voicing not just one Doctor Strange, but another evil Doctor Strange. And his voice acting is really, really great. But it's a really heartbreaking and dark episode, the darkest episode, even though, yes, last week, all the a lot of the Avengers did get killed. This, for me, was by far the darkest episode of the entire series thus far, where it's a pretty, well, I would say the universe is this um, universe is destroyed at the end of this episode. So it was a very dark episode from the beginning. Doctor Strange, we learned that the path to his events in the first Doctor Strange film were because in this universe was because of the death of Christine. And Doctor Strange is once more power. He wants to bring her back, which obviously as we learned from Loki, if, there, if there's an absolute timeline thing, you can't rewrite that and change that back. And that's what Dr. Strange was trying to do in this episode. Um, we see him, and the most heartbreaking part of the entire episode was him going back and doing all these alternate versions of the original death of Christine, how they want for one they took a wrong turn. They didn't go down the original path. They didn't even go out. Dr. Strange left her there all these different scenarios of the same situation and she kept dying no matter what happened. So Dr. Strange wanted the power to bring her, her back. Um, and obviously that did not work out. Once he did that, Tilda Swinton's character um, comes back into the, the ancient one, splits our evil Dr. Strange into two different Dr. Strange's. One that does not make the dis bad decision and the reckless decision of doing this and one who's already down that path. So we got a Doctor Strange, as you can see behind me, a Doctor Strange versus Doctor Strange third act of this episode, which was really fantastic stuff. Also what made this episode great for me was the animation was fantastic. This is the best, the best animated episode of the series thus far. It's really well animated, not just the human world, but when you get into those cosmic battles between the two Doctor Stranges and one of my other favorite aspects of the episode was the interaction between Doctor Strange and the Watcher. The Watcher has been very much in the background, barely in episodes thus far, but the Watcher becomes a character in itself in this universe. 
um, when the watcher was telling us something halfway through the episode, Dr. Strange thought he heard something. So you wonder, is he actually going to talk to the watcher at the end of the episode where an evil Dr. Strange sucks up the good Dr. Strange, I would say, tries to bring back Rachel McAdams, which has absolutely destroyed this universe. He does talk to the watcher. The watcher comes in to the world to talk to Dr. Strange. And the watcher's like, I know I would love to punish you for everything you, that you've done, but you are meddling a time. And meddling a time also affects other universes. So the watcher could not interfere in this what if scenario. So the evil Dr. Strange gets, Rachel, gets Christine back for a little bit, but then she gets killed again and the universe is destroyed. And that is the episode, guys. I, I really, really loved this episode from beginning to finish. The, the voice acting from Cumberbatch is really, really great. The arrogance, you can feel it, but it's one of the more heartbreaking episodes of the season when it's pretty, ble it's pretty bleak how Doctor Strange just wants Christine back in his life. We saw that dynamic work in the first Doctor Strange movie. It's great to see Rachel McAdams doing more voice work as well here for this episode. Tilda Swin, of course, is great as the Ancient One. And just how the relationship between Wong and Strange continues as well. We'll see that in Spider-Man No Way Home as well. So overall, guys, I think this does have an opportunity to branch out to the, the, the live action, the idea of this universe being destroyed. How does that set up the live action? I don't know what that does. The ripple effects of the timeline as this universe had been destroyed and we ended on a very bleak note. We had the screen of black and Jeffrey Wright said that the, whatever, the universe was destroyed and then we cut to credits with no music or very light dramatic music or sad music. So pretty dark episode. As I said, we don't really know what uh, the next couple episodes are um, because only the first three episodes were given to the critics. So now everyone's on the same page now with What If. So as a whole, guys, as I just said, I love this episode, my favorite episode of the series thus far. I've really gotten sucked into What If now every single week. The first one, I was like, this is gonna be a fun little show. And then T'Challa added on to that. And last week really built my excitement with episode three. And now it feels like we keep going better and better. So my episode rankings would be four, three, two, one so far of What If. So that's my thoughts on What If, guys. Please comment down below your thoughts. Do you agree with me, disagree with me, like the video. I'll be back with more reviews coming tomorrow. Should be my Monsters at Work um, episode, season one's uh, review. For, uh, also tomorrow night, it will be my review of Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. So if you want to see my other Marvel stuff, you can click that playlist with my other TV show reviews. I've done all three Marvel shows before. That's a Loki, Falcon, Winter Soldier, and WandaVision. Also leave my link up above for my Black Widow review as well. See you guys very soon.